for this station, we're going to talk about parallel and perpendicular lines. So parallel and perpendicular lines. Remember, parallel lines never touch. Perpendicular lines cross at a 90 degree angle. So the reason two lines are parallel is because they have the same slopes. So parallel lines have the same slopes. For example, y equals 1 half x plus 3 and y equals one half x minus five are parallel because the slope is the same. One half and one half, those are the same, so they have the same slope. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocal. So slopes are opposite reciprocals. So perpendicular means that slopes are opposite reciprocals. For example, y equals two-thirds x plus one and y equals negative three-halves x minus five are perpendicular because if you look at those slopes two-thirds and negative three over two are opposite reciprocal opposite means different signs one's positive one's negative reciprocal means flip the fraction over so two-thirds and three-halves are opposite reciprocals so we're going to go through a couple of examples the first example is are x equal negative 2 and y equals 3 parallel, perpendicular, or neither? So I'm not going to worry about the perp parallel, perpendicular, or neither right now. I'm going to worry about x equals negative 2. And I'm going to think about x equals negative 2. What do I know about the line x equals negative 2? I know that it is a VUX problem. VUX stands for vertical, undefined slope, x equals a number. So if I sketch this, it's a vertical line, straight up and down. If I think about y equals 3, y equals 3 is a hoy problem, H-O-Y, horizontal, zero slope, y equals a number. And if I sketch that, it looks like that. So think about those two lines, one's vertical, one's horizontal. So are they parallel, perpendicular, or neither? And it has to be that they are perpendicular. So a vertical line and a horizontal line are perpendicular. Remember, x equals a number is vux, y equals a number is hoy. And a vertical and a horizontal are perpendicular. Okay, so let's go on to example two. Example two, we're going to write the equation of the line that's parallel to y equals 2 thirds x minus 4 and passes through the point 6, negative 1. So I'm going to look at my line that was given to me, y equals 2 thirds x minus 4. What is the slope of that line? The slope of 2 thirds x minus 4 is 2 thirds. So I want to write the equation of the line that is parallel. So the parallel line will have the same slope, meaning 2 thirds. So if my given line has a slope of 2 thirds, my parallel line has to have a slope of 2 thirds. And I want it to cross through the point 6, negative 1. So I have a point and I have a slope. I have a point and a slope, a slope and a point, point and a slope. So when I have a point and a slope or slope and a point, I use point slope. <coughs> Excuse me, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So when I plug in, I get y minus negative 1 equals 2 thirds, parentheses, x minus 6. So I know minus negative 1 is really plus 1, and I distribute the 2 thirds, so y plus 1 equals 2 thirds x minus 2 thirds times 6 is 4, subtract 1, y equals 2 thirds x minus 5. So I found the slope of my parallel line, I used my point, plugged it into point slope, and then solved for y. So now let's look at another one similar to that, but this time we want perpendicular. So I do those same steps. I look at my original equation, y equals 3 fourths x plus 5, and I find the slope. The slope of it is 3 fourths. So my perpendicular line has to have a slope that's the opposite reciprocal. 
So what's the opposite reciprocal of 3 fourths? The opposite reciprocal of 3 fourths is negative 4 thirds. So there's my new slope and my point is negative 9 4. So again, I have a slope and a point, a point and a slope, so I have to use point slope. Y minus 4 equals negative 4 thirds times X minus negative 9. Now I know minus a negative makes a plus, and I'm going to distribute my negative 4 thirds. So Y minus 4 equals negative 4 thirds X. Negative 4 thirds times positive 9 gives me negative 12. Then add 4 to both sides. And Y equals negative 4 thirds X minus 8. So for perpendicular, the slopes are opposite reciprocal. So find the slope of the original line, change the sign, and flip it over, and that will give you your new slope and then use point slope again. Example four is a graphing problem. So it's not parallel or perpendicular, it's something different. We're going to graph y plus three equals negative one half, parentheses, x plus six. So this is point slope form. Remember the formula for point slope form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So if we look at our example here, our slope is negative one-half. What point does this go through? Y plus three equals negative one-half X plus six goes through the point negative six, negative three. So when I graph this, I sketch a set of axes. And when you graph, you want to make sure you're much neater than I am. And I'm going to put a dot at negative 6, negative 3. Okay, so I put a dot at negative 6, negative 3. And then my slope is negative 1 half. A slope of negative 1 half means to go down 1 and right 2. So I'm going to go down 1 and I'm going to go right 2. Then I'm going to go down 1 more and right 2 more. And I'm going to keep doing that several times and draw my line. And again, you want to make yours way neater than I did. So now you're going to work on station three, and it's on parallel and perpendicular and graphing point slope form. Do your very best.